I love it. <laughs> it's like the best laid plans of mice and men. They, uh, today is going to be, or I think it is, the weather report says like 102 degrees, you know, really hot. And yesterday was like 105 or maybe even hotter. But funny thing happened on the way to today. It rained last night. <laughs> this morning we had thunder clouds. We had lightning and kind of heat lightning and all kinds of stuff. And this morning, before the sun came up, it rained. <laughs> funny how that works. God has the ability to do anything he wants to do whenever he wants to do it, you know what I mean? Even Elijah, when he prayed, you know, he prayed and there was no rain, then he prayed and there was rain. So it's always interesting to me when people take their eyes off of God and think that they have to do something for themselves because when they're looking to God, they trust him for everything. When they take their eyes off of God, then they have to go out and get insurance and guns and, you know, security devices and protection and they have to get all wrapped up in you know the world and what it calls you know being smart <laughs> and you know getting all prepared for it you know and then sure enough you know a hurricane comes by and wipes out you know something or you know what it's like you know when you put your trust in something that could perish then it perishes but when you put your trust in the Lord who is eternal, then you have eternal trust. You know, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, all these things shall be added unto you. And Jesus said, lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt. But, you know, what do we do? Ah, uh, you know, we want to take our eyes off of God and put them on the things we own or the things we do or the things we need to protect because we've got our focus in the wrong direction. ignore distractions and when they raised their eyes they saw no one but Jesus only Matthew 17 8 our own flaws can distract us from keeping our eyes on Jesus if we think too much about what is wrong with us we will forget what God can do through us if we look too much at what we lack we will forget to be thankful for what we have the Bible says to look away from all that will distract us from focusing on Jesus See Hebrews 12, 2. If your faith begins to waver, quickly get your eyes on Jesus, who is the source of your faith and the incentive for your belief. Remember how he endured the cross, despising and ignoring the shame of it, for the joy of winning you to himself. He promises to bring your faith to maturity and perfection. Often I see, you know, especially in these latter days, how people can get so wrapped up in saying what's wrong with the country they don't say what's right with God. They'll tell me what's wrong with leadership, but they don't tell me how God is in control of leadership. They'll tell me how they have to change things by themselves instead of being inspired by God to rearrange things by His Spirit. So, I don't know about you and how confused you may be about the way some people arrange their lives, but for me, I have to say when I focus in on Jesus, when I look to the author and finisher of my faith, when I look to he who has redeemed me and has promised to perfect me and has promised to change me and has promised to rearrange me and has promised to present me false before the Father with exceeding joy, i got to say, I don't know what everybody else wants to look at, but I think I'll take my eyes and put them focused in on Jesus, who is, after all, the propitiation for our sins. He is the one who substitutes himself for all of our sins, past, present, and future. So, I don't know, you know, maybe, maybe things are going, you know, like God said, to hell in a handbasket. But he said they would. Maybe things aren't, you know, Christian nation like the way Christians want it to be. And God said it wouldn't be that way. Maybe you understand the times we live in and the signs of the times and that this is supposed to be this way because it's going to happen this way and that God is in control. Maybe if you're looking to Jesus, you see that. But you know, you could look some other place, you know, and you could look and see how bad it is and how down and out you are and how grumpy and how frumpy and how dumpy 
you know, life really is for you. But I don't know. I'm kind of thankful for what God is doing in my life. Aren't you?